Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to calculate Cohen's Kappa score given the confusion matrix for binary and multiclass classification problem in machine learning. Before we understand how to calculate Cohen's Kappa score, first we understand what is Cohen's Kappa score and how to interpret the Cohen's Kappa score. Cohen's Kappa score is a statistic metric used to measure the performance of a machine learning classification model. Let's assume that we are solving a classification problem and we want to measure the performance of a machine learning model. There are multiple metrics are available like accuracy, precision, recall, uh, F1 score and so on. I have already discussed all those things in the previous video. Link for those video is given in the description below. The Cohen's Kappa score is another statistic metric used to measure the performance of a machine learning classification model. Cohen's Kappa score is also known as a Kappa's coefficient. Cohen's Kappa uh, score considers both the number of agreements as well as the number of uh, disagreements. Agreements means uh, true positive and true negative. Disagreements means uh, false positive and false negative. Now uh, it will consider both these things like uh, number of agreements and number of disagreements to calculate the Kappa score in this case. Now how to interpret the Cohen's Kappa score is uh, Cohen's Kappa score ranges between minus 1 to plus 1. If the value of Cohen's Kappa score is uh, plus 1, it implies that uh, there is a perfect uh, agreement between the two raters or you can say that uh, the actual and predicted uh, values here. If the Kappa score is equal to 0, it indicates that there is no agreement. If uh, uh, it is a minus value or a negative value, uh, it indicates that this is a less chance and uh, there is uh, a negative agreement between the raters or actual and uh, predictions in this case. So, the value of Kappa score will be in the range of minus 1 to plus 1 in this case. Now, coming back to the calculation part of uh, Cohen's Kappa score, let us assume that uh, we have been uh, given a confusion matrix for the two class classification problem or the binary class classification problem. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate the Cohen's Kappa score. So, uh, first we will understand how to interpret this uh, confusion matrix. So, you can see here uh, this is uh, the actual s and actual no class and these are the predicted s and uh, no classes over here for each of them uh, the values are given to us and this is the total columns in this case now what is this particular 45 45 means uh, it is actually s and predicted as s over here the meaning is it is a true positive so what is this 15 15 means it is actually no and predicted as no the meaning is it is true negative in this case similarly what is uh, 25 25 means it's actually yes but predicted as what? No here, that is nothing but false, negative in this case. And this one will be, actually it is no, but predicted as is, it means false, positive here. So that is what I have written in this case. Once you understand the concept of a confusion matrix, the next question comes in front of us is how to calculate the Cohen's Kappa score. Or to calculate the Cohen's Kappa score, we use this equation. That is K is equal to P0 minus PE divided by 1 minus PE in this case. What is PE0 here? P0 is nothing but uh, uh, PP plus TN divided by N here. That is the agreement uh, between the actual and predicted classes here. So we know the value of PP that is 45. TN is 15 divided by total number of uh, examples in this case that is 100 over here. So 45 plus 15 divided by 100 which is equal to 0.6. That is nothing but P0 here. Now what is PE? P is the disagreement between the actual and predicted or the rates here. Now, how to calculate this uh, PE is PE is equal to actual S divided by N multiplied by predicted S divided by N plus actual no divided by N predicted no divided by N here. Now, how many actual uh, S are there? Actual S are 60 and total number of examples are 100 here. Predicted S are how many? Predicted S are uh, 70 and divided by N here again it is 100. Similarly, actual no, actual no are you can say that uh, 40 and predicted no are 30 here. Now, once you put all these values in this equation, you will get 0.54 as uh, uh, the PE value in this case. Now, once you know the value of P0 and PE, you can easily calculate this uh, Cohen's uh, Kappa score. We need to put these values in this equation and once you solve it, you will get the Cohen's Kappa score is equal to 0.1304 here. So it is slightly uh, greater than zero. The meaning is uh, there is a 13% agreement between actual and predicted classes over here. 
Now we will understand how to calculate the Cohen's uh, Kappa score for multi-class uh, classification problem. Again, this is the confusion matrix given to us. There are three classes are there, cat, dog and monkey. These are the actual classes. Cat, dog and monkey are the predatory classes over here. And this 15, 20 and this 10 are the correctly predicted uh, uh, examples and remaining all are incorrectly predicted over here. And total number of examples in this case is equal to 120 here. Again, we use the same equation to calculate the Cohen's uh, Kappa score. Now, the question is how to calculate this uh, P0. P0 is equal to correct predictions. That is nothing but T. Uh, in the previous case, we have used a uh, true uh, positive and true negative. Similarly, in this case, it will be 15 plus 20 plus 10 here divided by 120. That is equal to 0.375 here. Now, coming back to this PE. PE is equal to you can see here uh, for each of these particular classes uh, uh, total number of uh, actual and total number of predicted uh, we need to consider here total number of uh, cat examples are actual uh, cat examples are 30 total number of uh, predicted cat examples are 45 here so that's the reason 30 divided by 120 multiplied by 45 divided by 120 here that is what i have written in this case now coming back to dog actual dot examples are how many 50 Predicted dog examples are how many? 40 here. So 50 divided by 120, 40 divided by 120 in this case. Again, coming back to this monkey, uh, actual monkey examples are 40 and the predicted monkey examples are uh, 35 here. So 40 divided by 120, 30 divided by 120, and once you solve it, you will get PE is equal to 0.32987 in this case. We have calculated the P0 and PE. We can easily calculate the K using this equation. Now, k is equal to, once I put these values in this equation, I will get 0 0.0673 as the value here. Again, it is slightly greater than 0. You can say that 6.37% uh, of uh, agreement between actual and predicted classes over here. So, this is how uh, we can easily calculate the Cohen's uh, Kappa score for binary and multi-class classification problem given the confusion matrix. In this video, I have discussed what is Cohen's Kappa score and how to interpret the Cohen's Kappa score in machine learning. Also, I have discussed how to calculate the Cohen's Kappa score given the confusion matrix for binary classification problem. Also, how to calculate the Cohen's Kappa score for multi class classification problem. I hope the concept of Cohen's Kappa score is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.